Hi and welcome to a new video. Although audible notifications are quite convenient, sometimes less obvious alerts are preferable every once in a while. This is when silent mode accompanied with the vibration feature comes in handy. But what if vibration isn't functioning properly? In this video, I will show you how to resolve this problem on your iPhone. Let's go. Like any other functionalities on your iPhone, the vibration feature also has corresponding configurations that you may manually set. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Go to Sounds and Haptics and make sure both toggles, Play Haptics in Ring Mode and Play Haptics in Silent Mode are enabled. Additionally, vibration can also have a certain ringtone. To set one, go to Ringtone and select Vibration. Choose any tone from the available choices and just make sure that it is not set to none to avoid a muted vibration sound. Next, return to the settings main page. Navigate to accessibility and select touch. Locate the vibration toggle and make sure that it is activated. You can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. Sometimes, software glitches can also occur if your installed iOS version is quite outdated. To acquire new features and bug fixes, make sure to always check for any recent iOS version on your iPhone. To update to the latest iOS version, go to Settings, select General, and tap on Software Update. Download and install the update if it is available. Another option for resolving this problem is to install a repair tool on your computer. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot, which addresses nearly all software issues on your iPhone. This method is quite practical because it will also immediately update your iPhone to the most recent iOS version in addition to fixing any software glitches. Aside from that, it also works both on Mac and Windows PC. However, please note that most of its features require a paid subscription. If you want to try and test it out, you can download the software by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. Upon installation, launch Reboot on your computer and click the Start button. Now, plug in your iPhone to the computer using an original or an MFI certified lightning cable to ensure no conflict on the transfer of data. Next, click on Standard Repair. The program will then automatically provide the latest firmware that is compatible with your device. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the repair process. When the repair is finished, your iPhone will automatically reboot and the problem should now be resolved. If none of the methods worked, your haptic engine is most likely damaged and needs to be replaced. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.